Hey there everyone, so today I have another retro review for you, um, and it is one supplied by my good friend Chris, um, aka Jedi Council on YouTube. Go check out his YouTube channel, it is super awesome. Um, he was kind enough to send over this really, really cool um, C-3PO with realistic um, metalized body and cargo net. So um, super cool, this is from the Power of the Force line, this is the second wave that they did because it's in the green packaging, as you'll recall the first one that Hasbro ever took after um, taking over buying Kenner is gonna be the orange packaging, which they don't have a lot of in stores anymore, especially of like, they have very common figures, but um, anyways, this is gonna be from the second wave, um, and it is obviously from the Empire Strikes Back, if you will recall, um, uh, C-3PO gets dismantled and Chewbacca's carrying around in Cloud City. Sorry, lost my train of thought there, um, but super cool. I'm really excited about this guy. Um, here's the back. You have a big picture, obviously a scene, of kind of what he looks like and then you've got some other purchases that you can make here and then you can get a special offer for fans it's the freeze frame action slides it's a little holder so obviously this one came with the freeze frame so um, moving on here's the freeze frame which you can't really see I'm in the background hey um, you can see it a little bit there but it says C-3PO dismantled protocol droid it is the scene that we see on the back of the card um, it was the exact same thing and so it's a little freeze frame which is really cool the idea is super neat especially if you had the reader um, and um, on to the figure itself here it is okay guys so obviously I am very enamored with the novelty of this figure obviously all of his parts come apart so that is super super fun um, here is a little bit of a closer look he does look very metalized which he is very much plastic he's a very very thin um, almost hollow feeling plastic but they've obviously given him um, a type of paint that looks very worn and metal like um, he does look super good his eyes don't glow though at all like they don't they're just um, they're not even like colored, so that's kind of um, disappointing. And then his legs sit oddly far apart, um, which is also weird, because C-3PO definitely doesn't stand like that. But that's the power of the force, just trying to make bulkier figures. That was when Hasbro was everybody needed like the super, super muscular figures for some reason. But um, all of these are like um, these weird little hinges, every single part of him. Um, and so it does able, uh, it allows for, for movement obviously within the figure. Um, five points of articulation, which was very common for the time, um, but he does look great. Um, I would prefer to display him like he came with, what was it, this leg? <clears throat> this leg off. He was, he was in the package like that, um, but in the movie... <clears throat> see through, bro, here's his little net bagging, by the way, or netting, net, netted bag, whatever. Um... Here's that little bag. It's not very well made. Um, it's just like net and they put a little elastic band on it so like Chewbacca could grab it. But um, all you do is you can, if I can get it to work, that is. Um, mm -hmm. He fits decently well. He kind of comes apart or the, the, the pieces kind of fall out sometimes, but here you go. You can kind of, oh, sorry, it was backwards to you guys. <laughs> Um, you can kind of see how it might it might work with a little bit of playing around you can get it to look really cool I think but um I think it's super cool I love that you could just dismantle C-3PO I think they've made one or two versions of these I'm not 100% sure though um, so feel free to correct me or um, tell me enlighten me in the comments but they definitely made this one I, I knew of and I've always thought that he was really cool and uh, Chris was kind enough to send him um, to me um, and I think he makes for a great retro view. He looks super cool in the bag just like this. And so I like to display him in my collection like this. So um, if I can get him to stand like on the over the shoulder of a Chewbacca, I think that'll look um, super awesome. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. Uh, and remember, I do upload every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sundays have been kind of scarce. I'd like to get back into doing them. Um, I'll have a lot of stuff coming for my um, July birthday haul, kind of mid-July, um, and probably quite a few reviews spawning off of that. I have a, quite a lot to review before that actually of some things that I've gotten that weren't included obviously in the haul that I did earlier this month um, or last month June because now we're in July technically. Anyways um, but thank you so much for watching as always and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!